Thanks, Megan. We are in the middle of the Winter Olympics, but some Summer Olympic sports are getting ready to start their seasons here on the Hill. Well, Emily Knox, Caleb Lamb, and Natalie McGurn give us a picture of how the softball, track, and swimming teams are shaping up in the Olympic Sports Minute. Emily Knox here at a snow-covered SU softball stadium. The softball team led off its season last weekend at the Louisiana Lafayette Mardi Gras tournament, where it finished 2-3 and three overall. Freshman Stacy Quick pitched her first collegiate complete game shutout and was actually one out away from a no-hitter. The Orange travels to Palm Springs, California this weekend to take on some of its toughest competition at the Cathedral City Classic. Now here's Caleb Lamb on the track and field team. Thanks, Emily. The SU track and field team traveled to Binghamton for their final tune-up meet on Saturday. Junior Kwaku Boa took home first in the weight throw and shot put for the men, while Unama Osazawa took first in the long jump on the women's side. The Orange next travels to New York City for the Big East Indoor Championships this Saturday and Sunday. Now here's Natalie McGurn for the swim team. Thanks, Caleb. The Syracuse swimming and diving team's only home meet of the season was canceled due to weather. But the Orange is not of luck just yet. The team's gearing up for this weekend's Big East Championships in Pittsburgh. And the motto going into the meet? Go big or go home. They're looking to send as many swimmers as possible to Nationals next month. From Webster Pool, I'm Natalie McGurn, Citrus TV.